Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I'll just cut to the chase. Nostril. Real name Natalie Scotts. Height 5 feet 7 inches. Weight 144 pounds. Status hero and master of the nose. Base, New York City, Wobble. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior, witty and cunning. She doesn't mind her powers. Lethality, only during a fight. Weaknesses, she loses all control whenever she starts to sneeze. Powers, she can project streams of mucus strong enough to even make muscra stuck. And you could only get out by melting or freezing it. She can make a nearly impenetrable mucus bubble that make her fly like a hot air balloon. She can smell the faintest drop of blood from the other end of the galaxy. She could also appear seemingly normal. Eyes deep green, hair blondish brown. Origin Natalie Scotts is the younger sister of Cochlea and Optic, who was born with a hooked nose, deforming her face. One time, Natalie was experimented on by the BMC to get cured from her bad nose. After the transformation, she looked more attractive, but she learned of her new powers when she sneezed, covering the laboratory with mucus. After a while, Nostril went to help the Five Senses with a fight against Ruby, and eventually succeeded. Since then, Nostril was marked as a hero and was hired by Optic to become a member of the Five Senses. Costume she wears nothing official, nothing in particular. Team Solitary, with the Five Senses and other heroes. Origin Inspiration, Nasal Capabilities. Here's the next character. Zap. Real name Zoe Sparks. Height, very, weight, weightless. Status, hero in Master of Electricity. Base, Alpha Earth, Mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, witty, confident, and flirtatious. She's literally stunning. Lethality. She's ten times more powerful than Electrica. Weaknesses. She's intolerant to water. She needs to constantly levitate in order to avoid losing control of her powers. Powers. She's made entirely out of yellow streams of electricity. She can project 500 trillion volts of electricity, can travel through electrical currents, can make electrical holograms, and can use electricity for mass alteration. She could also form planetary lightning storms. Eyes, yellow sparks, hair made of electricity. Origin. Zoe Sparks was a power station engineer until she died from an event that left a week-long blackout. However, Goddess decided to give her a second chance in life, and Zoe was resurrected into a being made out of electricity. One day, Zap had gotten into a fight with the tornado making Wind, which took a month to win the fight. After her defeat, Wind begged Zap not to kill her, and Zap decided to spare her life. Since then, Zap and Wind were great allies through the rare permission of Dark Pym, and Zap was eventually hired by the Master to become a new member of the Legion of Masters. Costume. She's composed entirely out of electricity. Team Solitary with Wind and other heroes. Original Inspiration, Marvel's Electro. Well, those are the two characters, and I apologize if it seemed out of place, like in terms of the pauses and sus, I apologize. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent rest of the time and such. And until next time, in transmission.